Hello there, everybody. I think we're all good now. Sorry for the um, delay in getting started. I, uh, I think I've got a few more things running than usual concurrently while we're streaming for this one, um, which I guess I'll, I'll explain as we go along. But let's um, let's get to it. Let me know how it looks and sounds for you. Um, it's looking looking pretty good this end. Uh, right, so uh, this week we have the start of a new adventure game. So uh, let me load it up. Let's get to. Oh, how should I do it? Yeah, let's no. Let's just go. You can see. Let's have a look at all the gubbins. There we go. Yeah, looking looking all right there with the chat window. I think. Yeah. Okay. Let's get this party started. So, we follow on from um, our most recent adventure game, which was Mystery House. Uh, we will be playing. That's right, Wizard and the Princess. It flashed up briefly there. And the beauty of playing this. Uh, Apple II game is that we get to see each of the beautiful colour um, environments draw in real time. There we go. So this is um, Sierra's... Oh hello, got some drop frames going on there. Okay, so as I was saying, um, we're playing the uh, second adventure game from Sierra. Uh, released in 1980, the same year as their first, um, which was called Mystery House, um, which we played before. Um, this has more colours. It has orange, it has blue. Um, I th those might be the only new colours, but it also has dithering. Um, and it's graphically, it's already miles ahead of, of what we saw in Mystery House. Um, it's, the, it's the same engine, it looks like it's going to be the same kind of interface, so we'll get a graphic representation of where we are, and a brief description of the place. Um, we have to use the visual clues as well as the written ones to try and work out where we are and what's going on. Um, and we enter commands in the form of uh, verb noun. So uh, dig hole or go door, things like that. Um, but the unlike uh, Mystery House, which um, had a full set of instructions uh, as part of the game that you could read beforehand to give you some a, a fairly good amount of context for, for what you were doing and why. Um, everything you need to know about Wizard and the Princess is actually contained in the instruction manual. So one of the things I've got open over here is that said instruction manual. Uh, the part of it that's in the Roberta Williams anthology. So that was the, the set I've got that had um, Mystery House and this in. So um, it gives me the chance to do a dramatic reading for you. So that, I think that's how we'll start. So this is Wizard and the Princess. His bearded chin rested on his fists, a forefinger pointing toward his temple. At a glance, he appeared an old man, withered and wiry, but something shone from his eyes. Secrets, dark secrets, evil secrets. And he began to speak. It was a time beyond history that I, Harlan the Malevolent, evil weaver of wizardry, faced the Wanderer. Spells fell to bravery and cunning, and the fair Princess Priscilla was rescued. I called on the elements and created deserts and mountains to cross, oceans to sail, and chasms to span. But I had underestimated the Wanderer's resourcefulness. Through logic and luck, he overcame my magical obstacles. He plotted his path meticulously, leaving no avenue unturned, no setting unexamined. He learned the passwords and magically opened paths where none existed. I conjured up all the evil and dangerous creatures within my power to block his way. Still he pressed forward. His possessions were few to begin, but he learned quickly to use what he found along his way. Sticks and stones, apples and crackers to defeat my beasts of diversion. Finally, I took shelter behind my magic. At last, I believed, the wanderer was defeated. I rested too easily. In the final hours of his search, he made his way through the corridors of my castle and solved my magical mysteries. 
the princess was rescued. I was beaten, but I do not accept defeat forever. My magical powers remain intact, just as strong, just as evil, and I could reverse the sands of time with a single spell and face a new adventure. And this time, I won't lose. Well then, my foolish friend, I offer the challenge. Should you accept, your only possessions will be a flask of water, a loaf of bread, a blanket, and a knife. Many have tried to defeat me, only one has succeeded. So you accept? Well then, welcome to the beginning of your end. With a boisterous cackle, he faded into time, only to be replaced by a vision far more fair. The Princess Priscilla. What the wizard Harlan warns is true. His magic is powerful and the obstacles great, but the journey is far from impossible. I can only offer you a computer and a few words of encouragement. All else you must do on your own. Plot your path or perish. The road to Harlan's castle is long and the path confusing. You'd be wise to mark your progress on a map. Show where you've been and what you've done along the way. Take special care to map when you're in a maze, the bane of all adventurers. Yeah, it may be a tunnel or a cave or just a repeating scene. Above all, try all directions. Otherwise, you'll never know what helpful object might be found or what unlikely route should be taken to rescue me. A last bit of advice. I do not know the exact path to the castle. I know only that it is long and dangerous. Remember, though, that the surest route is not always the straightest. The mountains may lie north through the desert, but your weapons may be hidden elsewhere. You may travel the same road several times before progressing further. Don't be dismayed. It is part of Harlan's evil wizardry. You'll need passwords at certain points in the game. Watch and listen carefully to find them. The wizard is powerful and able to change his shape and that of others. Things are not always as they appear, and there may be beauty behind ugliness and evil behind beauty. Occasionally you'll lose all of your possessions, but be patient and determined, and you'll get them back. There is no more I can say except to wish you luck and speed. Harlan cannot hide behind his evil sorcery forever. You have become the Wanderer. So that's our um, in-character introduction to the game. Um, and then there's also a little section of instructions um, about the co top commands we can enter. So if you've um, seen Mystery House, this will be quite familiar. Uh, we can type in directions to move. So we can go uh, north, south, east, west, up or down, typically. And if we want to go into a location that's pictured, normally we type go into that location. So it could be go house, go door. Um, we went go tree, I think, in Mystery House at one point. Um, so it says, to see a scene better, type look. But I think you just get the same description again, personally. Let's try it out. Look. You see nothing special yet. That, that came up a lot last time as well, so we'll, we'll probably be getting more of that. Um, you can uh, pick up items by typing get, uh, drop them by typing drop. Um, you can talk to people. Um, and then, this is the important thing that I wish I'd known while playing Mystery House. Along the way, you might meet others who may or may not have clues for you. Command them to... Oh no, that's, that was not the right line. Sometimes it's possible to command the computer to take direction. Direct action, sorry. Example, you might command, cut tree. The computer might ask, with what? The, what, the form you have to answer the computer with is with item. So, with axe, cut tree, with what, with axe. Um, which I don't think I ever tried and trying to figure that out last time around, so that's helpful to know. Um, so you may look at any look at what you're carrying any time by typing inventory. Um, so that's kind of the main stuff, and there is actually a hint in here as to saw how to solve the first major puzzle, um, which oh, oh oh no something crazy just happened. Let's get out of this. Hopefully it hasn't, look, hasn't gone crazy for you. Yeah, phew. Okay, it went crazy for me. I had a full screen moment. Um, there's a hint how to solve the first major puzzle. Um, so, I will just run down a couple of things about how I will approach this game. You might notice on the screen at the moment, there is a scroll in the bottom right hand corner. That's my map and notes document. Um, so, as the game suggested, I'm going to be trying to keep track of where I'm going and what's going on uh, by making a map and making notes on my scroll. 
um, and we'll enter commands together and see if we can work all this out. Um, I'll just take a brief pause to see how the stream's going because it's not looking not looking great, I'll say. Hello lovely folks, we're trying again. Um, settings tweaked. Output slightly different. I should hopefully have sorted out the um, bit rate. I think the bit rate was tr it's trying to go far too high for my internet connection. So let me the be right back screen doesn't really um, tax the system very much. So let's have a go at my wisdom princess um, setup and see if that gets any worse or any better. You know, it's not losing anything at the moment, so we might have hit upon a reasonable setup actually. Okay, well let's let's persevere. I'm gonna type that in the chat. Let's persevere. I think that's how you spell it. Persevere. Okay. Back to the game. You, uh, we're in the village of Serenia. Around us is a desert. So um, I've had the game up uh, for a little test earlier today. So the first time I looked at it, um, uh, I think I would have made a slightly more deserty sounding soundtrack um, if I'd known that. I uh, I cobbled together the soundtrack before before I did the um, uh, the test run. Uh, so let's see. So can we look at the houses? Oh, not sure what the beep was for. Uh, there's nothing in the buildings that would interest you. I'd say that's a pretty strong hint that we're not supposed to, uh, to interact with the houses. Although it seems a bit weird to have a village and... I've lost my cursor. It seems a bit weird to have a village and not be able to do anything in it or interact with any people. Apologies if you can hear any extraneous music from my surroundings. Um, well, uh oh. Now what's happening? Ah, oh, phew. Okay. Apologies for the the strange beeping if you heard it from my um, my Apple II. Um, okay. Uh, can I look at the road? Look at the road. You see nothing special. Um, look at the desert. That, ooh, that's not quite how you spell desert. Um, you see nothing special. Okay, well let's, so I know there's two ways we can go anyway. I wonder if I, actually, uh, but it pays to try everything, doesn't it? Let's see if we can go east. I can't go that direction, so can I go west? No, okay. So I feel like this is a great time to begin drawing. Uh, one of our fame, uh, the famous Serenia street scene. Um, on this, how do I tackle this? Uh, I mean, it's going. This is going to be NFT worthy for sure. Um, Oh, beautiful. Um, I hope you can see uh, clearly just how, how good a job I'm doing on this. It's beautiful uh, Adobe Street scene. Not, not Adobe the company, owned by Apple. Before the word Adobe was tainted. Okay. Um, We draw it. Well, that's a reasonably straight horizon, so I'm even going to risk some cacti. You know? Sure. Yeah, let's do it. Seems like there's a big tarmac highway heading out of town. 
um, which I think we're going to have to take. And I think, as per the instructions in our inventory, we should already start off with some stuff in this game. Um, ooh, the, that comes up a lot quicker at the Mystery House. And there's lots of beeping that I can hear, and I don't know if you can too. So we've got a flask of water, a pocket knife, a loaf of bread, and a blanket. So, you know, fairly, fairly standard stuff, I suppose. Uh, I don't know if there's thirst and hunger for us, um, or whether there's those food and drink items that could be for, um, it does feel like it's going to be a survival game, doesn't it, with those items, but let's find out. Right, so I think we need to press enter again. Let's try going north. You know, we can't go east and west. Um, and let's enjoy this drawing in. Nice. So, um, I can see the sun, a snake and a rock. Uh, prominently. Um, should we see what happens if we look at the sun? I don't know how to look at sun. Interesting. The sky, maybe? don't know how to look at sky. Um, how about the rock? Um, can I get the rock? I mean, who doesn't want to pick up the rock, eh? Um, can I look at the snake? You see nothing special about the snake. Well, that's not particularly helpful, is it? Uh, look at this cactus here. Please leave the cactus alone. <laughs> Interesting. Right, can I kill the snake? With what? With knife. Your knife is not big enough to kill this snake. Blimey, how big is this snake? I mean, I assumed what we're looking at is like a close-up of the ground. Um, but this snake could actually be like, I don't know, like six to eight feet tall maybe? Could be taller than us? Um, I guess that's possible. Um, can I talk to the snake? Is it actually a snake? No way. Um, you know what? It's, we don't know exactly who we are, do we? Don't, we don't know what character we're playing. I think our character might try and kiss the snake. No way. Uh, um, so, can I go east? I can. In the desert. Interesting. If I go west, that's the snake again, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're lost. Oh no, this is going to be like the tree maze. Um, east. If I go far enough in the same direction, no, hang on. There was there was a rock in one of those screens, wasn't there? That is not appearing there. Uh, what's up with these rocks? These orange rocks. There's a scorpion behind the rock. Um, what if I try to take the rock? Sorry, in the, the parlance of, of modern times, or ye olde times, what if I get rock? A scorpion by the rock has stung you. You are now dead. Would you like to play again? Okay, I think I think I know where this is going. Kind of hoping that the uh, instruction book did mention it, but I'm kind of hoping the uh, uh, save and restore functions uh, of uh, the other game uh, apply to this one as well. Um, okay, uh, so while we're back in the village, let's try up. Can't go up and down because you never really know in these games. Alright, so I'm going to go north. I'm going to map out this snake, snake room that we've come to. Um, by doing... this um, I mean, note that you go north to get to oh this might this look a bit neater on the scroll there we go um, to the dreaded snake room so um as you'd think, to be honest, 
that you could go around this snake, but I have a feeling that to go in any direction other than whatever is the direction that goes directly past it is pro oh, interesting way of drawing the snake. Um, is probably to get lost. I think. Oh, this is a bad drawing. Um, it kind of looks like a swan in a whirlpool. I'll be honest. Um, but never mind. I've, yeah, I have a suspicion that the only way to deal with this particular snake is probably going to be to kill it because uh, this is this is it's me, it's me or the snake. Let's face it. Um, right, so from here, can I go north? The rattlesnake won't let you go north, so that seems like that's what the puzzle is. Um, if I were to go west, which was the opposite of last time, yeah, you get the same lost in the desert vibe, don't you? Okay, what if I go south from here? Okay, there's a rock. So I think I've got to do something with these rocks. Another scorpion behind the rock. Gonna just gonna leave it, you know. Uh, can I get the scorpion? Oh, do I want to risk it? Yeah, let's risk it. Let's get the scorpion. The scorpion behind the rock. I don't see it here. Interesting. Um, can I do what I did before and just say look room to get back to the? Yeah, here we go. Cool. Um, so let's just keep going in one direction and see what happens. No rocks there. Let's go south again. Oh, I can't go that direction. Interesting. So I seem to have bottomed out. Can I go west? Can't go in that direction. Interesting. Can I go east? I can, apparently. So that was kind of at a limit, wasn't it, somewhere? All right, well, that's, that seemed... So if I was at the southwest corner, then if I keep going east, then I might get to the southeast corner. Let's try it. There might be some more rocks along the way. Let's see what draws in. Ah, there's a rock. I really need a rock. No, not that rock, though. Look at the room. Assess the room. Okay. East. Oh, hello. That's a way to get back to the village. Interesting. Um, so what happens when if I go south from the village? More desert. Okay. A different rock, maybe. I wonder how randomly generated uh, these rocks are. Is it worth making a map? Or are they actually going to be randomly generated? Well, we can. I guess the only way to find out is to actually try uh, making a map and seeing if it holds up. So let's do it. It's, it's a bit more work, but that's what we're here for. Who said adventure would be easy? Who said adventure games would be easy? So, um, if I. Go back to the room. So this is going to be your standard desert room, which has the uh, prominent foreground cactus. It's not a euphemism, although you'd be mis <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't uh, criticise you for thinking it was. And I think this room. Okay, so. Say, So, if I maybe change my colour up to something more contrasting. Yeah, let's try and get a good orange colour. That'll do. Um, so, I'll also make a note that it's a scorp rock. Scorp. I mean, there's no way I can... Oh, you can't see that. There's no way I can fail to... Uh, to understand what that means, I'm sure. Okay, so that's the scorp rock. 
so that's no good. So you'd think going north would be the way back to the village, but it's not, is it? No, you can't go in that direction. Interesting. Um, I suppose it'd be worth noting down, wouldn't it, while I've got uh, while I'm between these two, that um, you go east to go back into the village, which I think still holds. Let's just check it again. Yeah, it does. So that's the consist point of consistency. So there might be a. I hope there aren't too many maze-like areas in this game because that was probably my least, um, least favourite thing about Mystery House was when we were trapped in the tree maze that was a, a bit random, but just about doable. All right, so I can't go north. Uh, can I go? So in theory, there's only two ways I could go. Can I go west? Yeah, can. Absolutely. No rock. I think the rock is always the last thing to draw in, isn't it? Um. Oh, hello. What happened there? Not what I expected. I'm good? Yeah, here we go. So this was west, wasn't it? Well, while we're stuck in the desert, how's everybody doing? How how has your day been? Uh, apart from getting lost in a in a desert, my well, has been alright. Mine's been alright. Right. It's quite warm. I could believe I'm in a desert. Okay, so I'm gonna just draw quickly draw the You know what, I'm gonna be quite imprecise about <laughs> I mean I haven't been very precise. No no no. There's no there's no rock. Attention. Yeah, it's going to be a very simple alley for the ones that are just sort of in between you places. So, is it worth keeping going in the same direction until you can go no more? I think yes. Interesting. So, another one that has nothing in it. Time for another ropey cactus drawing. That's what we're here for. Mm. Great. Uh, let me get that. Oh, let's not tip, tip our hand to the magical infinite space behind the scroll. Um, I'm going to run out of space if I need to keep going west, but well, let's try it. Ah, I can't go in that direction, so perhaps it is actually. A set maze that would actually be really helpful because you can map out them. So I can't go south. Interesting. So I go back east. Nice. Can I go south from here? Oh, I can. Okie dokie. Interesting. So it's not going to be just like a square maze then. If if it is consistent. So we're we're in this square here. Oh, I can't you can't see where the mouse is, but it's the um, the middle of these three. So we're below that one currently. I'm definitely not a big fan of a maze where all the rooms are drawn identically. Not. I mean, a maze where there is. I mean, I guess there's the rocks to help you tell things apart, but um, it's kind of short shrift, really. Okay, so this one does have a rock. I guess we'll approach and see if there's any scorpions around. Let's have a look at the rock. Oh, there's a scorpion behind the rock. 
No, I don't want to look at your skin. I want to look. Just look. Just look. Just look. At the. Oh, I actually want to look at room, don't we? Look, room. Okay. So that. I'm intrigued. Can we then go west from here? We can. Well, that's confusing. Because that was a room that we could get to from the one above it. How confusing. That's got nothing in it. Uh, Dodge cat destroying. I mean, they can't be saying they're getting dodgier. They're just, just consistently dodgy. So this rock has a scorp. Let's not forget to note that. So uh, just jiggle that over. So we're currently on this one. So I mean, in theory, if this is a consistent map, we should be able to go any further west. Or we can't go west. This may be slightly randomised, I'm starting to think. Okay, I'm running out of scroll space. So I'm going to need to jiggle everything over a bit, I think. Bear with me a sec. Jiggling. Jiggling. Uh, sure. And then what happens when I have to go east? If I have to go east, I don't know. So I need to put another one there. Back to blue. So that was west again. And this one does have a rock. Maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe this rock will be the rock of legend. The rock of ages. The Rock of Prophecy. Hang on. Let's. Oh, no, that went a bit wrong. Let's try again. Oh dear, this. It's a very constricted uh, cactus. Right, Rock. Can we make shape Rock? Right, what are the bets? Place place your bets now, folks. Yep, it's got a scorpion behind it. Disappointing. Certainly going to make for an interesting stream if all we end up doing is uh, uh, trudging through the desert, looking behind rocks. But well, let's let's go with it. Let's go. This is it's the world I've made for my own back. All right, so I could go west again, and this one has no rock. I'm kind of curious as how how randomised or how designed this um, environment is. All right, now rock. Um, well, let's see if we can go west again. Oh. oh. Okay, I mean, so this has let me go very, very, very far, which is interesting. Um, I have to move all my map over in here. Um, it's at this point that I think I should have gone for a, um, a landscape document instead of a portrait one, but there you go. What are scrolls? What can you do? Okay, so this one, 
Oh, hello. What was I moving there? No thanks. Uh, oh, oh, oh. This one? Is that? Yeah, that's what I was after. Okay. Bit, bit weird that we can keep going west this way, I think. Okay, that is a rock. This is the scintillating stream action that everybody comes to Twitch for. It's look rock and find scorpion. Do not wish to get stung. Back away. I mean, it's all the kids are doing it. I mean, I dread, I dread to find out really, but can I go further west? I can. So this is probably looped around, isn't it, at some point? I'm starting to think. So where was there another one that was like... Yeah, that's a good point, because there was seen to be a point at which um, the tree maze in Mystery House looped around. Let me see if I can scan back across this um, thing. Let me get it. So this was our most recent room uh, before we came to this one. And then, so that one had like a, so that actually it looks kind of like this one, doesn't it? So I think if I were to go, let me just test going east and see if it goes back to a room with a rock in the same location. Kind of, yeah. Is that the right place? I'm not sure. Let me test my hypothesis. So I think we might actually be in this first one that we got to on this row here. Let me test going north. Oh, you can't go north. Oh, that's really interesting. So that's... Uh, okay, well, I'll keep recording them as they are. Um, so may not have linked around yet if that's what it does I feel like we got off to a more dramatically satisfying start in mystery house um, this is this has been a bit underwhelming so far I must confess um, So this, so, oh, excuse me, uh, wrong window, west, yeah, so west was another empty, empty patch of desert, I mean, excuse me, can I look at the cactus in this one, please see the cactus alone, what happens if I take the cactus? No, I just get told to leave it alone. Fair enough. Um, interesting. My, my scroll had a brief magical effect on it there. I feel that didn't uh, interrupt with your enjoyment. Okay. Can we continue to go west? Blimey, we can. This is a bit bonkers, isn't it? This, I think this would test the patience of someone just trying this game out as like a first a first foray into adventure games because uh, it's not giving you a lot to start with is it at least in mystery house you had quite a few different rooms you could explore freely um, before getting before running out of things to do really 
or getting trapped in a maze like this. Um, all right. Okay, what do you think? Um, I think it's a scorpion for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So this set up with the rock is kind of similar to the one we saw a couple of rooms ago, isn't it? But I think it might be slightly further down the landscape, further south than it was in that case. So probably not the same room duplicated. Oh, crikey. Right, I'm going to pause myself for a sec while I move my legs because I've had them crossed for a while and they've gone dead. Uh, see, see you back here in a second. Okay, back. Um, I'll try not to let the uh, the pain as the blood returns <laughs> to my limbs uh, uh, become vocal. There we go. Uh, let's try going west again. Well, that's crackers, is that you can just keep going west. What a load of crackers, right. The, um, how's the stream looking for for everyone out there? It's uh, looking stable from the technical end, which is a relief after our shaky start. Okay, I'm adding another another thing to this map. This is very strange. Um, I think let's go down a little bit. Okay. Oh yeah, the, uh, the the blood's rushing back now. <laughs> if we want a, a limb update, that's what's going on there. What's going on in the extremities? Um, empty room. Okay. Wow, that's. I think that's. I think my cactus drawings are getting more and more fork-like. The uh, <laughs> the uh, the more I have to repeat them. There we go. And then can we go west again? Whoa, so it's finally stopped us out. But that was massive, that run. Okay. So where can I go from there? Can I go north? Because I've been refused. No, I can go north. Crikey. Um, and there's a rock there. Okay. I mean, I'm assuming there's going to be a rock with no scorpion. Um, and that we can obtain that rock. That's what I, I anticipate happening. Um, and maybe we... I mean, there's not many things we can do. Right? Maybe we can rock the Casbar. I mean, rock the, uh, the snake to death. Although, why that's more effective than throwing our knife at it, I don't really know. Wow, that's a that's a chunky cactus I've just drawn. Let me show you. There you go. Look at that chunker. Um, there's a rock. There's some kind of bound cactus with a baby on it. You know, a cactus baby. And let's look at this rock. There's a scorpion behind the rock. Not impressed. Not impressed. With that, far from it. So I'm curious, can I go further west from here? Crikey, I can. How big is this? If this is a predetermined map, this is massive. Absolutely massive. How bonkers um, would that be? So I've gone off the edge of my document with this. Not great. Um, I guess I'll roll stuff over. I've drawn loads of squares. And we were an well, able to go so far west. Okay. Uh, why, why is this not working? Please work. <laughs> 
I am selecting the things. Am I not selecting the things? I would like to select the things. And then I would like to move the th th Oh, hang on. Why is... Oh, I appear to have locked my layers. Do excuse me a moment. These magical scrolls, they're, they're quite hard to get the, the knack of. Ah, at last. Now I can freely edit the magical contents of my magical scroll. So, west. west. I mean, and if we can go south from here, that would be a bit crazy, wouldn't it? I expect we won't be able to, based on the logic that this area seems to be following so far. Uh, so this is another empty one. Um, I'm going to try it though. You can. Well, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Because then, if you can go. Uh, what's the word? Oh no! Oh no, don't do that. If you can go. Uh, east, that's what I'm trying to say, if you can go east from here then that kind of uh, means the map doesn't work in quite the way that I would have hoped. You know you know what, N uh, I will keep my spirits high and maybe this rock, maybe this is the rock that doesn't have a scorpion next to it. You know, maybe this is the one. I'm ready to write scorpion already. No, positive mental attitude. I'm looking at this rock. It's, it's got a scorpion behind it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Loud and clear. Loud and clear, folks. So, well, let's test it. Can I go east? I can. And it is an empty square, which is interesting. Can I go west? Yeah, I can. So that... Hmm. I think... What's, what's going on now? I lost, lost track of it. I think... Let me make a note of this. Uh... Um, I am getting a little bit confused with this. Let's try going east again. So, I mean, these should all be rocks that we've seen before, I think. So there shouldn't be any surprises, no. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Uh, look, room. This room and rock got confused in my head there. So, this is. Uh, let me check. But I think what we're looking at here is we're not. shouldn't be on the same row of the map as the village was. So we should be south of the village still? South and west probably. Have a look. Yeah. So going east here shouldn't take us back to the village unless things are really muddled up. Oh things are really muddled up. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, so they don't behave in a uh, in a mappable sense, do they? Oh, that's intriguing. Well, let's try going. S excuse me, south. Um, 
where there was a rock with a scorpion on it before. Be out under it before and go west. And I think I might just try going north from there. I don't know if that's going to uncover anything we haven't already seen. It may or may not, I suppose. Um, uh, so let's go... Pop a new map square around. There we go. In anticipation that we can go north. Oh, that, so that takes you to the snake. Oh, that's really interesting. So I'll, hang on, I'll move that square out of the way and draw an arrow. So going north from there takes you to the snake as well. That's really weird. There's kind of some, there's some magical geography going on here, some non-Euclidean geography, if you'll pardon the expression. Um, no doubt, that's the work of Harlan the wizard. So that goes to there, which is slightly confusing. Um, so maybe I'll just try going to the side from where the snake is. So I can go east, I think, from what happened before. Yeah. All right, so let's put a... And that's got a rock in it. Put a rock in it, mate. Um, let's... I don't know why I just said that. Let's get hold of this thing. Can we get hold of this thing? Thanks. Uh, and then we shall uh, do the usual. Draw a very poorly drawn cactuses, cacti, apologies, uh, and then horizon and horizon. And then look at a rock. You know what? There's only a scorpion behind that rock. You know, I fantasy adventure. I was kind of hoping for a bit more out of the uh, the initial hour or so of playing than uh, looking behind rocks but you take you take what you're given I suppose um, can I go east again apparently so so I'm conf not confused I'm curious if I keep going in one direction long enough uh, will I eventually uh, just come back around to the snake on this row, or will I end up in the village, or what? what's going on? What geography will I discover? Wait, no rock. East it is. Hang on. I've been saying east and I've been... Oh. Uh, I've been drawing the eastern blocks on the western side. That's not very helpful, is it? Uh, oh, crikey. How do I correct that? I think what I have to do is... Apologies for motorbike sounds. They're... I tried to hitch a lift past the uh, the rattlesnake, but uh, they didn't stop. So if I take that out of here and pop that there, and then I can kind of so I have to put it the other way around as well, didn't I? Oh dear, I messed it up. Messed it up. So that one, and then if I take. Yeah, that can 
confuse the maths. Pop it there. Um, yeah, so uh, having a little think about uh, playing this in the future. I think if we haven't solved this this tremendous rock mystery uh, during the course of this stream, which would be a shame, uh, I think I'll play this bit off stream because it's far from scintillating. Right, so we had this we had the scorp first, didn't we? That was our first thing. So we went east. I got confused about what constitutes east and west. And we had a scorpion rock and then we had a bit of blank desert. Please don't look at the infinite void inside my scroll. Uh, it's it's a very personal space. Um, right, and we've gone east again. So, can I get hold of this thing? I can. Brilliant. Let's do another one of them. Pop it there. Alright, I think we'll sort it now. Logistically. Uh, so we've gone east again. So the, the rocks seem to be in the same kind of locations. And I guess a good... I guess what I'm doing is a good test of the mixed upness of this area as going east always seems to be the way to get back to the village. Um, look, rock. There's a scorpion behind the rock. Uh, look, room. Could do zoom out a bit, that might help me. Um, it probably doesn't help you on the stream end, but it might be helpful for me just to jiggle stuff again for a moment. So, hang on, let me just write scorp on here so we're up to date. Sc oh, come on, I changed the colour. I swear I changed the colour. Scorpio! Um, yeah, 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 has that got everything it doesn't look like it's got everything? Has that got everything? It should have everything. Okay, it does have everything. So let's move those over there. So my map is, my map at the moment is probably bigger than the entire of my map for the last game. Which is, uh, interesting, an interesting observation. So, I i mean, for anybody watching, I hope this is a nice, uh, chill, relaxing time. I, um, I'm, I'm not hating it. Um, I'm not finding it particularly fulfilling in terms of, you know, uh, intellectual curiosity or in terms of, you know, <laughs> full gameplay adrenaline. It's not really... Hang on. Are we... No, this is the room we're already in, isn't it? So I don't need to draw on this yet. Yeah, I hope at the very least I can provide some uh, calm, measured companionship uh, for anybody interested in rocks or scorpions. That was my... When I set out this morning, that was my aim. I mean, I just checked the time. I, I was, <laughs> I've kind of got, yeah, I kind of lulled myself into a trance here, where I could easily like keep streaming for another few hours and not really notice. Uh, I am keeping an eye on the time, um, and we'll probably keep going for another ten minutes or so. I think, 
and see if we get anywhere. Um, so that was a nothing square. We go east and I get a rock square. So that, that yeah, the pattern of where the rocks lie looks very familiar from an previous encounters with rocks. I mean, I might be seeing things, this might be a mirage. It's hard to know. You know what? I might even get lucky. This might be the rock. I mean, yeah, in many ways, isn't looking for the one like looking for a rock without a scorpion behind it? That's that's why I'm taking away from today's uh, today's stream. And guess what? We found another one. We found another one, ladies. Great, uh, but we're going to keep going east because that's that's what we do. That's what we do currently. We go east, despite what the song would have us have us do. We're going east. We've been west. It wasn't a lot of fun. There were a lot of rocks with scorpions behind them. Great. Uh, let's get hold of another map square. Whack one in to the map area. Blue notation, please. So, this, yeah, we haven't gone east yet. Let's go east. I was getting ahead of myself. Head east, please. It is a place of no rock. Of this, I am sure. Um don't appear to be drawing. Why am I not drawing? Drawing is a oh that's that's why. Drawing is what what I'm doing. Uh it may be bad, but it's it's still drawing. And then I gotta shift everything up again to go east. I think this should be this should be such a confusing introduction to adventure games for anybody. It's like why are all these rooms the same? Where do I go? Why doesn't my map make any sense? Even though you told me to make a map and I'm making a map. Okay. So So this one's probably got a rock in it? Has it got a rock in it? Yeah, it's got a rock in it. Um, so, I'll, yeah, are we going to go far enough that we get to the village or the snake? That's that's what I would like to find out. It might help to know that. I don't know if it would help to know that. Um, this is not a great, not a great drawing. Okay. All right, folks. Fingers crossed. Oh no, it's not a rowak. Look at the roach. Let's see if I can put a bit of roach. Is there a roach in this game? I don't know how to look at roach. No. Look. They're missing a trick. Maybe I can kill the scorpion. Oh, you. Well, I knew the risks. I knew the risks, didn't I? It's not like it's the first time this happened. You know what? I'm going to try and make my document size bigger to, so we can have a look at just where we've ended up. So I'm going to make it twice as big, three times as big. 
in all dimensions. Let's see how that works. Whoa, okay. Um, I don't, that might not be big enough actually. Uh, let me. So that's gonna that's gonna look pretty tiny on the screen there. I think this needs to be wider. I need to change the let me make it like a square document. Okay. We're doing that with making it we're squaring it off. So I'm gonna make it like that and that should just about accommodate the kind of map that I have created. So what I'm thinking what I might need to do is look at this map in closer detail um, to try and work out make it a little bit. So if I yeah there you go. So you can see the shape of the entire shape of that there. I guess last hurrah, should we go north and then follow our map east as far as we got? Um, I'm going to zoom in a bit so we can. See, oh, that was zooming out, it was the opposite of what I was trying to do. Um, There you go, so we're at the, the stake, the uh, the swan in distress there on my map. So we're going east, so that's going to be a scorpion rock situation. I guess we could maybe just check the rocks again in case randomization has... No. So I think... There's some level of consistency there. I haven't quite worked out. So then we go east. So that should take us to uh, a plain desert room. It's the centre of the scroll there. Plain desert. Just a desert, as they say. Um, and then we go east again. East, excuse me. East again should be Scorpion Rock. You know what, there's a scorpion behind that rock. And I knew there would be. Um, scorpion, scorpions are deadly. For sure. So that was a, an empty room, and then we come to another scorpion rock room, I think. Yeah, uh, agreed. There was always a scorpion behind the rock, they say. Um, we go east again. No, wrong window. We go east again. Empty room. We go east again. We get to Scorpion Rock, where I tried to take on a scorpion and lost. Which, um, and so, I mean, that's, that's a life lesson that I, I'll take with me as a result of playing Wizard and Princess. Okie dokie, so let's, we didn't make the note about the scorpion because we got unceremoniously 
It looks like slope. You know what? I'm fully prepared to call them slopes from now on. Great. Well, I've got a little bit of oh, a, bit crazy, isn't it? a little bit of scroll room. So let's let's carry on east. We might as well. So we've come this far. Do we reach? Well, in, in, we'll keep going, and if we reach something, that's when we'll stop. If we, it looks like we're never going to reach anything. That's also when we'll stop. Uh, so, what I call look in this window and go east. So this is probably going to be an empty desert one again. Yeah. Okay. Can do. Can do. Oh, delicious cactus drawing skills. Um, that. Nothing interesting. Let's go east again. What could be there? <gasps> A rock. It's quite funny, the music kicked in just then as well. Uh, right. So these rocks seem to be appearing in the same kind of locations. I don't know if it's happening on a pattern, but we have to look a little bit closer. So, I mean, in the internet age, this situation is like a prime candidate for looking up a walkthrough, isn't it? Um, but we're doing it old, there's a squad behind me. Uh, doing it old school like we are. Um, you end up spending a lot of time trawling around, trying to work out what's going on. I mean, I'd say... so far... Oh, hello. Um, this game, a particular game, has had a lot less respect for my time than its predecessor. How do I get hold of this thing? How do I get hold of it? Is it here? No, is it here? No. I'd like to get hold of this bigger hold of this. I know. I know. Holy moly! <laughs> Can anybody else see a giant slorp? Um, what, right, we're close. I need to zoom out again before I go a bit too crazy. Yep, that's fine. Um, oh no, and then it's, I've lost my place. This is such a long chain again, isn't it? Here, 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 here. For some reason I'm in trouble finding the right layer to... Ah, that'll do. Great. Um, all I want to do was get another amount of layer. There we go. Um, hang on. Have I even looked at this? Have I looked behind this rock? Yes, I have looked this rock. Definitely going to be time to finish soon. Right. Oh, and then you go back to the village. Oh, oh dear. But then by going west in the other scenario, I didn't ultimately get to the snake. So maybe I, what I need to do is go west of the snake as well to have a look. Oh, this, yeah, this is definitely something I'm going to do off stream, I think, before we next come back to this game because it ain't particularly good streaming material is it let's face it I mean if if anybody wants to pop in chat and have a chat we can we can do that while we're while we're strolling uh, merrily around a desert 
So, I mean, is it worth saving? I don't think it is. I think all my progress was entirely in this this magical scroll. Go on, let's finish off with a look at the full extent of the map we've drawn. Um, and that doesn't get it yet. Uh, you might be able to see it all now. Not quite. Not quite. I mean, it's very, um, it's wide. There, I think I might have to do that to show you the whole thing. Look at that, that's bonkers, isn't it? So I think probably the next thing I'd try is going to the snake and then going west again. I think that's what would be my strategy. Um, but yeah, I, I think I'll do that off, um, off stream. And hopefully make a small small uh, advance for next time um, I might yeah and if I do anything exciting I'll record what happens just in case there's anything exciting and we can we can come back with that next time we stream well thanks very much for joining me it's been I'd like to say it's been an adventure it's kind of been more of a really sad day trip but that's okay sometimes day trips are really sad um, Thank you for your company and um, hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care. Bye bye.